Hello everyone, welcome back again to my channel and this is same series of clean architecture with CQRS and mediator pattern. Okay, and uh, in last session we covered actually in this command how we can create a command and then how we can implement in this command like create how can create command. Okay, so I create implement in last session. Okay, and now in this session we'll cover we'll actually implement that how we can update a command. Okay, how we can implement as a update command okay so 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 far uh, if you visit first time in my channel so definitely i recommend to you uh, go to my channel and you will check out that you know clean architecture with sequence and mediator pattern so that you can able to understand like okay how we can achieve you know we can how we can Create a structure. How we can? What is that sequence pattern? What is clean architecture? And why we are using this? Okay, this pattern and this architecture. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so so far what we have covered, we have covered you know that architecture and then implement domain layer and we also you know implement query class. You know query get query get list of the query get query by the ID. And also we implement, you know, that mapping. How uh, how we can implement that iMapper, uh, generic iMapper class or Im interface, and how we can, you know, convert our domain entity to a view model entity. Okay, so let's start it to update query. Okay, so what need to do? First, we have to, you know, create one com uh, one command similar what we have achieved in so far last session okay so simple what need to create it is a update blog command okay and then in this update command blog just make it public and inject is you know simple like that similar i request handler i request handler and what is the response type because it is update so definitely once update we'll need to get just you know that id okay based on this id okay it is updated or not so just return as an integer like whatever updated property uh, updated id okay so we just we can return it over here and okay now what is the response type okay so means request type like whatever request we are getting from that user so that we have to pass over here okay so we are will get that that should be up to yes per your uh, requirement but yeah in here in this in this year actually we use one you know blog view model okay so where is i created that one i created i think somewhere in here okay yeah see the blog view model so I like can this property we have to get from UI so that I can update those property in our database. Okay, so create those property. Okay, so in update command, what we'll get from the user ID, name, description, author. Same things we have to update in our DB. Okay, so that is done. Command is created. And now what need to do? We have to create a handler update command handler so how we can do that create a class just put some name like update block command handler handler okay and make it to public similar fashion and now again need to inject i request handler i request i request handler okay it is getting from this you know mediator r and also the here we have to pass you know two overload method okay one is request one is response okay so what is our request same things like our request is you know update block command which is just we have created okay and then what is the response we have to back we have to return back our integer okay so let me return the integer only okay and then what need to do actually this request handler actually uh, complaining okay need to implement their uh, their signature okay so what is the signature just implement interface so this is our signature need to implement handler 
handle okay and how we can do that we have to call our repository we are actually we have to send our data okay so call, create a constructor for that so that we can inject our i repository this i blog repository okay so let me inject and create a variable and also assign create a private variable and assign to in in the constructor level okay so that is done now we have to call our our uh, you know repository method which will you know update our uh, blog entity okay so how we can do that just blog repository update async and in this update async actually see these are two things actually we need to pass let me zoom in okay it is okay let me let me zoom in okay see uh, first parameter is an you know, id and second one is a domain entity okay so that two things we have to pass okay so first uh, id we will get will get from that request dot request id request that id is our blog id okay and then another one is see the another one is is a domain entity okay so domain entity how we can pass it like simply new or we can just create this entity and separately and then we can pass it over here like for example update update blog entity okay and just create a that you know domain blog entity okay and just pass it to whatever our parameter whether they can request id to request id author to author and description to description and name is to name okay and id author name okay yeah that is fine that is sufficient and finally just copy this one and pass it to here okay and what is the return type of this method this is return type of this method integer so make it to also this response response our you know return type is this method handler method is a integer so just simply return with the await okay and async that is done okay so let me build so that we can make sure is nothing be a miss over here okay so build is completed okay so that implementation also done so just recap what we have done okay because this is uh, very important simply first what need to do you have to create a update command okay and then inject to i request handler or i request interface okay which is you know getting from the mediator r okay and we have to uh, pass that whatever response so in this scenario our update scenario we get the response in the integer okay and how we can decide okay what is the response we are getting okay so whatever implementation you have done in the domain okay not a domain actually just you know whatever your repository uh, method like that time we have we can decide it okay what kind of response we have to return okay that method so same same things okay we can just pass it over here and then we have to once complete your command update block model command then we have to create a you know, handler okay and thus that handler again we have to inject you know that i request handler and i request handler also getting this you know expected this two method uh, to overload method and a request and response and that request is our you know, update command block and response is you know whatever written type okay based on this actually we create a you know uh, implementation uh, method in this i request handler okay and here we will put our business logic okay and then call to our repository method so that whatever you know interact in database this will do in this in you know, abstraction i repository okay and that get back the response over here and then get back to ui okay so that is done 
okay and the next section will implement in this application layer uh, the delete block okay so that is the last part of that implementation of application layer so that will complete in next session okay and after that we'll actually try to implement you know infrastructure layer which is still pending okay so one infrastructure layer also complete then we'll implement ui layer how we can you know call that infrastructure layer or application layer you know in here and then how we can resolve the dependency everything will come in our upcoming session okay so till now thank you very much have a nice day and don't please don't forget to subscribe